A couple of weeks ago, my husband shipped his sperm across the country with Legacy, an at-home semen analysis company. And today, we're going to check out his results. We're thinking about trying for a third child. And although he's completed a semen analysis in the past with our different fertility providers or reproductive endocrinologists, it's been about four years since his last semen analysis. And I thought it would be time for an updated result also to try testing for DNA fragmentation, a newer aspect of a semen analysis. And Miles was game to share his results. So here they are. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Legacy. A big thank you to them for supporting my channel and bringing this content to you. If you're thinking about expanding your family, consider checking out Legacy. Remember, this opinion is my own, and I do think this could be a useful tool for someone trying to build their family and who wants to complete a semen analysis from the comfort of their own home. A semen analysis is a test that assesses the health and the viability of sperm. This test can provide valuable information about your chances to conceive in different ways and the likelihood of conceiving. Once my husband completed his results, and I'll talk a little bit more about the actual testing process later in the video, but once the testing was completed and the results were returned, there were three different ways to view the results. You could view them, one, on your mobile phone, you could view them, two, on a kind of interactive web page on legacy.com, or three, you could download a PDF, which would be really helpful if you wanted to you know, upload it to your patient portal or share with the doctor in the future. I'm gonna be sharing the mobile version as I go through my husband's results here. But before I do that, I thought it was kind of funny to compare to his last semen analysis. Take a look at this handwritten, no explanations included, quite old school compared to Legacy's report semen analysis, which is what we received after the last time he completed this type of testing. All right, let's run through it. So a semen analysis includes a bunch of different parameters, and I'm just going to kind of walk through each one and highlight the ones that were most important to me. One of the numbers I was most interested in, because we are planning to conceive at home as opposed to using assisted reproductive technology, is total modal count. Total modal sperm count takes into account concentration, volume, and motility. As you can see, 20 million or more is what's considered normal. And luckily or fortunately, Miles was well above that 20 million or more at 79 million. So he fell well into the normal range for total modal sperm count. Some of the other parameters included in a semen analysis are count. How many millions of sperm are included in the sample? You can see, again, this fell into the normal range. Volume, which is exactly what it sounds like, the amount of semen in the sample. Miles fell into the top 1%. That made me gag a little bit. Next is concentration. This is the number of sperm per milliliter of semen. You can see that its concentration sits at 12.7 million per milliliter, which fell, fell a little bit below that normal range of 15 million per milliliter. I wasn't too worried about this since it was just a little bit below the normal range and also because his volume was so high and because his total modal count was normal. One of the things I found super cool about Legacy is that you can actually schedule an appointment with one of their experts if you want to talk through the results and learn a little bit more about what they mean for you and or maybe your partner and talk about what good next steps there might be. So that's something you could always check out if you're getting your results back and you're not sure what to make of them. The next metric is motility, which refers to the percentage of moving sperm. A normal motility is 40% or greater, and Miles was above that at about um, 55%, so that's good. And then morphology is also measured. Morphology is the percent of sperm with normal size, shape, and structure. And anything over 4% is considered normal. So you can see Miles fell right at that 4%. So that is a normal result, which is great. Last on the list of results is DNA fragmentation. One of the reasons my husband and I really wanted to check out Legacy is because it includes this DNA fragmentation index. This is the percentage of sperm with damaged or broken fragmented DNA. DNA fragmentation index is not included on a standard semen analysis. And my husband has actually never had this done. I was really curious to see what the results would show because DNA fragmentation and increased DNA fragmentation has been linked to or associated with a potentially increased risk for miscarriage. So for me and my husband, who've experienced five miscarriages in a row between the ages for both of us of 28 to 31, I was super curious to see if he would have an increased DNA fragmentation index, but that actually wasn't the case, which was a bit of a relief. So you can see here that my sample fell at 21% for that DFI or DNA fragmentation index, which is well within the normal range. Now, had it been increased, or in that abnormal range level. One of the things that's kind of cool about looking through the results either online or on your phone is that you can scroll down and Legacy provides some suggestions about how you might be able to improve certain parameters. And what's neat about sperm is that it is always being created in the body. Sperm has about a three-month life cycle 
So there actually is the possibility, depending on what's going on with a specific person's sperm or semen, but there is a possibility that things could improve based on certain lifestyle factors or changes that are made, which is awesome and why this testing can be so valuable. So that's it. Those are his results. Before I wrap up, though, I wanted to share just a little bit more about what it was like getting the kit, the big perk of completing a semen analysis from home. For my husband, somebody who's had to go into the fertility clinic for his past semen analyses, it was a huge perk. Let me tell you, this legacy kit, I'm showing a clip here. It was the most luxe kit I've ever received. And I have, as a genetic counselor, received a lot of DNA kits and checked out a lot of different DNA kits. But this was a very nice kit. All my husband had to do was find a time to collect his sample at home and then just drop it in the mail or schedule a pickup with the mailing service which was awesome. One thing to be aware of is that the sample does need to be collected on the weekdays so that it arrives at Legacy before the weekend. So you do need to take that into account, but it's still much more convenient than, you know, scheduling an appointment and going into the fertility clinic. So that was cool. Legacy also offers the option to freeze your sperm. So I really feel like Legacy could be considered for pretty much anybody, whether you're just hoping to understand more about your fertility you're trying to conceive, or if you're somebody who might want to freeze their sperm because they may be taking certain medications or drugs that could impact their semen in the future, their sperm in the future, might be worth checking out. All right, that's it, guys. If you've got questions about our experience with Legacy or the semen analysis report, please drop them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you found it useful. And thanks so much for watching. Take care.